Hi everyone! I had such a great response to the video on the investment mix that it got me to thinking. I, I didn't think it would be such a um, hit for most people. So um, because it was, I thought, well, what else can we do with it? So what I decided was, before we start with this, let's try and make a mold. Instead of using... Um, you know, the different molds that you have that you can pour the investment mix into, let's try and make our own molds. So what I found was this amazing mold putty. And you can make your own molds for resin, food, soap, wax, clay, and more. And um, it comes in two parts. You have a part A and a part B, and you mix equal parts. And you make a mold of something. And these are some of the things that I've brought out to try. I don't know that I'll try them all, but um, I'll try a few of them. And um, some of them like this, this was at Hobby Lobby. It's a drawer pull. You can see that it, it's you know some fancy drawer pull. But I thought, what an interesting shape. So I can make a mold of that. Of course, they had a chicken drawer pull, so that was kind of interesting. Of course, you can use coupons on them. This used to be a keychain, and the little loop broke off of it, but I always liked that little frog. So I thought that might be fun to make a mold out of. And of course, Gumby and Pokey, two of my favorites. I had this little miniature one. I thought about that. And then I got some bark, some really textured bark. I thought that might be interesting. I don't know if it'll work. I might try a small piece over here. This mold material, we only have three minutes working time, but it's 15 to 20 minutes to unmold it. So um, you have to be kind of quick. So let me start with something simple. I'll start with this, and then um, we'll unmold it and see how it goes, and then we can try some of these other things. Okay, I'm going to open my mold material, pull equal amounts out. It didn't say wear gloves, but I'm wondering that might have been a good idea. And I want to be able to cover this entire sort of face. So I'm kind of guessing how much I'll need. I think I could weigh it if I really wanted to. But they don't talk about being that specific. I have heard of this mold material being um, expired, you know, and sort of hard. So if you buy it, there's no seal on this, just pops open. So if you buy it, I would say check it right away, maybe before you leave the store, open the box and just check it, make sure it's not dried out, so that if it if there's a problem, you can always go back in and exchange it. Uh, but the packages I've bought, I haven't had a, tr a problem with. So what we're trying to do is squish this together so that we don't see any of that white. We really want it um, mixed well. It feels very soft. It's got a very soft texture. So I think it could take on a lot of detail. Okay, I'm getting close. And they give you about three minutes of working time to mix it and mold it before it starts getting a little stiff. So you don't want to take your time with this. You also don't want any bubbles in there. But you want it mixed well. Boy, it's a fine line, isn't it? I see those little creases. They're going to cause a problem when you go to mold. So you kind of want to work those out. Try and get rid of all those little fold lines. Roll it into a ball. There, it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going to put my... Um, drawer pull in there. I want this to remain flat because I'm going to pour the investment mix into it later.
you can go over it a little bit. You don't want to go over too much because you want to be able to unmold. It'll, it'll flex a little bit when you go to unmold it later, but you don't want to stress out and break your mold later, so don't have it go over too much. I like it a little high, just a little high, because then you can get a nice level piece when you pour the investment mix in. Now I'm doing this on a piece of, it's called plastic cardboard, they make signs out of it and stuff, so um, it shouldn't stick to it. You can feel it starting to stiffen up just a little bit. All right, I think that's good. I'm going to let it sit for 15 minutes. Okay, well that one's drying. I'm going to start this one, give this a shot. I've got two little balls here together and I'm going to mix it up. For this one I decided it would be better to mold it on the table so that it'll be flat. I'd like a flat bottom on it, so I'm just going to flat a little spot here. That way when I flip it over and pour the investment mix in, it will be sitting flat on the table, so I need a flat spot. Okay, I've got a nice flat spot there from the glass. And now I'll let that one dry for about 15-20 minutes. Now I don't think this wood is going to work with this putty without some sort of sealer on it to, to keep this from sticking to it. But I'm going to try just a little bit, just see how it comes out. Try this little spot right here. Mm, let's do this one. Okay, we'll let that cure for 15 to 20 minutes and see if we can peel it off. Okay, it has been more than 20 minutes. It's actually been about two hours. So we can unmold these. This is the first one we did, so... Oh, it comes right off of the sort of plastic cardboard. And they recommend in the directions to kind of peel back a little bit at a time and then pull it out. And look at that. We have a perfect mold of this. That is awesome. And you can see I've got it sort of curved over a little bit, and that's okay. I wanted to make sure to get the full piece. I don't have to fill this up completely if I don't want, but I can. Okay, and now this one is the, um, what was that, the frog, right? So it's, Oh, that's coming up very easy. There's our little frog. And look at that. That is awesome. And remember I put that piece of glass there to make that flat. Can you kind of see how flat that is? And that way I can lay it on the table and fill it with the investment mix. Now this one I'm not so hopeful about. Eh, I'm hopeful but not very. Yeah, I don't think this is going to come off. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
Look how surprised I am. So I actually got some bark texture there. I didn't get the sides up very high here so it would pour out if I tried to put investment mix in it. And I would have to clean it out maybe with a old toothbrush, something like that. Something kind of soft. It's a little messy, but I have some really awesome bark texture there. I like that. Boy, that really surprised me. I just didn't think it would separate from that. So that's very cool. So the next thing to do would be to fill it with investment mix. And if you watched the video, the previous video, you know how to do that. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about it. You can watch that one if you want. But when you're doing this, of course, wear a mask. You don't want this stuff in your lungs. <coughs> right? Okay, I'm just going to put a drop or two of water. It doesn't take much. Remember, the more water you put in, the longer it takes. But if you've watched the other video, or you're going to watch the other video, no need to watch this. You can fast forward to the end. So all I'm going to do is pour the investment mix in here, just see how they turn out. And you know I'm tapping it to get the bubbles out. All right, I'll let these sit for 24, at least 24 hours, and then we'll unmold them, see what they look like. Okay, it's been over 24 hours, so um, these are ready to unmold. I already did the bark, that's this little piece here, and like I said, I'm not sure what I would do with it, but I just like the idea that I can uh, make a mold out of something natural like that. So this works with that. So I'm glad I did the test. That was a good test to do. Um, the little frog piece, do you remember this little keychain piece? He's very thin. And I tried to unmold him after about two or three hours. There was still too much water in there, so he broke apart. All of his little legs popped off. So I quickly made another one. That was about 24 hours ago almost. And look at that. That just popped out so easy. And I have a perfect little froggy that can go under a piece of glass and you slump over it. So watch the other video, the, the video on using the investment mix. Uh, I'll put a link up here somewhere for you to um, find that video. It'll also be in the description below that other video. Um, I also made this little um, What's this, a rooster? I don't think I did that on film. So um, while I was molding stuff, I thought I might as well mold it and then put some investment mix in it. Let's try and unmold it together. You just got to ease it out because you don't want to break it. Ah, there it comes. His little head is a little deep. There we go. So then you would trim off this little excess down here. I don't think you'd have to trim that in there. You could use your fingernail and see how it just kind of scrapes the edge a little bit. Kind of smoothing out those edges if you wanted to. If you, if you found that you wanted that for whatever it is, you're going to slump over it or something. Okay, so we got two successful ones, two awesome molds. Of course, I can make a ton of these. And this little head with horns. I don't know, what do you call that thing? It must have a name. Ah, oh, I bent too far and broke his little horn. So that's why you got to be careful. Look at that. 
if I was slumping glass over it, I could easily put that together, slump the glass over it. It would still work, but I would probably make another one. The investment mix is, is so inexpensive. Um, I've made many, many, many things, and I still have a ton of this left. And this was a one-pound jar. So I would say this was super successful, this amazing mold putty. I think that was very successful in making molds from different things, whether it's metal or the bark. I'm sure you could use buttons. There's all kinds of really cool buttons, um, all kinds of um, things, acorns, whatever you've got um, that you want to make a mold out of. And, it, and then you could make this investment mix and slump over it um, using either the one I bought or um, the you can make it yourself. And again, that's in that video. I'll have it in the link below. Um, I'll also have a link to this on Amazon in case you just want to order it from there if you're, you know, a big Amazon shopper. So you can just link to that and um, pick up on some of that mold putty. So, very successful. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Be cool, honey bunnies.